Max, get up. We're going to be late again. You brushed first yesterday. It's my turn. Max, where's your other shoe? Can I bring the dinosaur spoon? Race you to the bus. Can you believe it? The short animation you just watched with characters, dialogue, and even the voices was created entirely with AI sounds crazy, right? But the amazing thing is, you can do this yourself right at home with just a few free tools. If you're interested in powerful AI tools that save time and can even help you earn more, make sure to hit subscribe to Needat AI right now. The very first thing you need is a short script for your story. For example, two siblings getting ready for school in the morning. In the script, make sure to note which character appears what they say and break it down into smaller scenes so it's easier to manage later. Why do you need to be specific? Because each scene will need its own text to image prompt and then you'll turn that image into a video. You can write the script yourself or to make it faster, you can ask ChatGPT to generate one for you. You can see an example on the screen right now. ChatGPT will return a script broken into clear scenes with dialogue and descriptions. This becomes the foundation for creating your images and videos. Once you have your script, go to openart.ai to start creating images for each scene. On the homepage, look at the left sidebar and select Generate Image. In the prompt box, paste the description of the scene from your script. OpenArt offers different models, but here I'm using FluxDev because it produces detailed results. Next, set the output size to 16, 9 cinema. Click Create, wait a few seconds, and OpenArt will give you options. Pick the one you like the most and download it. And here are the images I created. Now that we have our image, let's go back to OpenArt and this time choose Generate Video from the sidebar. Upload the image you just created, then copy the image to video prompt from the ChatGPT script and paste it into the prompt box so AI knows how to animate the scene. In the settings, you can experiment with different models, VAO3, Kling 2.1, or Minimax Haluo 02. I prefer Minimax Haluo 02 because it creates smooth motion about six seconds long with 768p quality. Click create, wait a few seconds, and you'll have a short animated clip. This is the step that transforms your still image into a moving scene. And here's the video I just generated. Once the animation is ready, the next step is to add voices to your characters. Open 11 labs, then go to the voices tab in the sidebar, filter by English, then select characters and animation. You can also filter by gender and age. For example, I like Brittany, a young female voice that sounds natural and expressive. Copy the dialogue line from the script, paste it into the text box, and click Generate Speech. Eleven Labs will instantly create a super realistic voiceover, and here are the audio clips I generated. Max, get up. We're going to be late again. You can now sync the character's lip movement with the voice you just created. Go back to OpenArt, choose Generate Video, and upload the animated clip. Then add the audio file from Eleven Labs into the lip sync box and click Generate. In a few seconds, AI will automatically match the mouth movements with the voice. Once you have all the pieces, the scenes, the movement, the voices, and lip sync, it's time to put them together. You can use any editing software, but I use CapCut because it's free and simple. Open CapCut, drag and drop each completed scene into the timeline and arrange them in order. You can also add background music or transitions. Once done, export it as an MP4 file in high quality. And that's it. You now have a complete AI animated short film with characters dialogue and lip sync. So now you know how to create a full animated story with AI. From writing the script, generating images, turning them into videos, adding voices, and syncing lip movement. The whole process is automated, so you don't need drawing skills or professional animation knowledge. If you found this video helpful, please like subscribe to Night at AI and leave a comment telling me which tool you'd like me to try next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.